rising shabbat shalom i hope that you guys are having a great saturday morning uh, some of you probably are a lot of you probably are still asleep in bed chilling i get it i understand it's an off day for some of you some of you it's not i don't want to talk to you about um workplace antics you know i i I'm 52 years old. I've worked pretty much in an office setting. I'm not touching the phone, so don't trip. Um, I've worked in an office setting for 30, 40 years. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I'm getting ready to retire. Um, not this year, not next year, but I, I'm looking to retire at some point. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, I want to talk to younger people who are still trying to navigate the workplace, whether it's in an office, whether it's in the service industry or hospitality or whatever. No matter what industry that you work in, if you physically have to get up and commute to a job and you have to be around people um, eight to ten hours or more per day, um, so you're spending a lot of your waking hours around people. And some of those people, you know, even in the best work environments, you don't always get along with. You don't see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. You don't believe the same thing. You don't, um, you're not the same people. It's different people. We live, it, it, <laughs> some of us live in very diverse cultures. And so we have to learn to work around people that aren't necessarily like us, who think like us, who believe like us, that were raised like we were. <clears throat> and it could be a challenge because we live in a, um, a society that worships their opinion. Uh, you know, now we have this saying, their truth, my truth, her truth, his truth. You know, there's no such thing as the truth anymore truth has become a gray area and has become very um, interchangeable and people have their own versions of the truth okay and so because now people have their own versions of the truth they also um, it's very very difficult to disagree with people um, and it's it's almost like if you don't worship at the altar of other people's opinions, they won't like you. They won't deal with you. Um, and you got to find a way to navigate around that because especially young people, they tend to be, when I say young people, I mean anybody under 40, anybody under 40, you're a young person. Okay. And anybody under 40 are still pretty much under the impression that they know it all. Okay, because they they may be a little bit more educated than people over forty. They may um they've grown up in the information age where you know a lot of information has been thrown at young people they, since they were in preschool. So they have a lot more knowledge and they have a lot more access to knowledge than maybe we had when we were in school and we were coming up, even in college. But they don't have very little wisdom very 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 little wisdom and a lot of times what I find is that people in the workplace um, I don't know I don't know if it's a game I don't know if it's intentional I, I, I don't know if it's gaslighting I don't know what the terminology is because y'all know y'all come up with new words and new terminology every year every three years or so but people try to bait you into disagreeing with them or bait you into having these office place disagreements or discussions and they say things they know is going to set you off they say things that you know are um, triggering points for you and they know this and instead of you know you ignoring them and saying, you know what, I'm not even falling for that. 
I'm not going for that. No, no. I, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to get into this, this debate with you so that I could, um, I could say something in the workplace that's inappropriate or say something that everybody disagrees with. So everybody would be like, did you hear what they said? And did you hear this and that and whatever? You know, it's, it's like, it's a trap. It's what I call it a trap. And what you have to learn how to do is say, yo, I'm not going to, I'm not listening to you. I'm not falling for that. I'm not getting into that discussion. Um, I'm not getting into that debate. I'm not getting in that conversation. Um, it could happen on breaks. It can, it can happen, you know, while you're at your desk or whatever, in your cubicle or whatever your workplace environment or culture is. You just have to get to the place where you just, you get that fortitude in you where you're like, you know what? I'm not falling for that. I, I see what you're doing. You're trying to get me to say something. You're trying to get me upset. You know what I'm saying? And you just got to, Young people, you got to learn to ignore folks. You got to learn to recognize when somebody is trying to bait you or trap you to have a conversation that's inappropriate for the workplace or that's going to be debatable because they want you to get into a debate. Don't do it. Just don't do it. You're there to do a job. You're not there to debate anybody. You're not there to convert anybody. Hello. So oh, workplace evangelism. You know what your workplace evangelism tactic is? The best tactic to evangelize somebody at your workplace is to be a hard worker. Okay. Be a, a, a focused worker, be a worker where they can say, you know what? You're a blessing. You know, we really appreciate you being on this team. Not somebody that can have all this wonderful conversation all day, every day and have all these wonderful debates at work and want to, you know, debate people into the kingdom. You can't do that. It's called conviction for a reason. It's, it, it's, it's, you can't debate somebody into getting saved or getting delivered. You can't do it. Okay. So that's just my, I don't know if I'm making sense, but I understand that people have, you know, that's something that uh, happens a lot in the workplace and you just got to just ignore people. Don't, don't hate them. Don't wish them no harm, but understand for whatever reason, <laughs> They're trying to debate you and get you in a a workplace trap. Don't fall for it. Y'all be blessed. Shabbat shalom.